Well, we're tracking the potential for severe weather today, but thankfully the tornado threat is low. And while tornadoes do make headlines, the most damaging element of a severe thunderstorm is often hail. I bet you didn't know it. And it causes billions of dollars in damage every year. Nine News meteorologist Keely Chalmers is going to give us a bird's eye view of a new mission that's right here in our state of Colorado. Yeah, that's right, Kathy. A team of Colorado researchers has been flying and chasing storms, not just here in Colorado, but across the country to learn about hail and how we can better protect ourselves and our property from it. You live in Colorado. You've heard it. You've seen it. And you might have even paid a hefty price for it. Every year, hail causes millions of dollars in damage, damage many climate experts say will only get worse. There's an urgency now. Brian Argro is leading an effort to get out in front of that problem by getting out back of the storms. We came in behind the storm to look at the trail the, the swath. Argro is an aerospace engineering professor at CU Boulder. He and a team of researchers spent the summer chasing storms across the country, both on the ground and in the air, using this drone. Uncrewed system that was developed for uh, storm intercept missions. The drones fly right up to the storms, measuring all sorts of atmospheric data. This is actual drone video taken from behind a supercell storm. It's all part of the largest hail study in the U.S. in 40 years. Researchers got a bird's eye view of not just the specific conditions that cause hail, but of the damage hail leaves behind. There's certainly more casualties associated with tornadoes and so forth. When it comes to monetary uh, losses, hail is by far uh, the, the, the bigger of those of, of the two. According to the Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety, since 2012, hail has caused an estimated $280 billion worth of damage in the United States. The goal of the research is to help forecasters better forecast for hail and builders to build better hail-proof structures. It was exhausting, but it was really cool. For graduate research assistant, I was a pilot of the aircraft. Sayu Gomez Falk, it's a chance to play a critical role in protecting our future. For me, it's all about better understanding our world, how we can better, you know, coexist with the natural forces around us, keep our people safe. And now more than ever, we need to understand severe weather so we can better adapt to its change. The question is what will be, uh, you know, is this is no longer a question about, you know, in our lifetime or, you know, in, in a couple of lifetimes. This is now. In Boulder, Keely Chalmers, Nine News. And now those researchers are getting together all that data they gathered this summer so they can put it to good use here soon. It's also very important to point out the project was 100% funded by the National Science Foundation.